What's wrong? Something feels really strange. I'm sure I don't know this place, but it's starting to feel like it's familiar to me. You must have come here sometime before. No, and that's what's strange. It could be like with Nomine. You forgot lots of other stuff, and that's why you remember this place now. No, it's different. With Nomine, my memories sort of came drifting back to me, a little piece at a time. But not now. It's not memories, just this idea that I must have been here before. So, <sighs> feeling nostalgic? Sora, a question then for you. Your memories of Namine or your feelings here? Which of the two of these is more real, I wonder? Namine, of course. Whatever it is that I'm feeling, I bet it's just another one of your mean little tricks. <laughs> the memory's wiles can be cruel. In its silence, we forget. In its obsession, it binds our hearts. Cut the riddles! I told you. This place was created solely from another side of your memory. It is on the other side of your heart that the memory of this place exists. It is your heart that remembers. You're wrong! I don't know this place! If you remain bound by the chain of memories, and refuse to believe what is truly found inside your heart, then throw it away. You are not a Keyblade Master, just a slave to twisted memories. Yes, exactly like my Riku. Your existence is worth nothing! Like your... Riku? Worth nothing? That's enough! You're the one who changed, Riku! Every word you've said is a lie! I'd never throw away my heart! I'm gonna take you down and save Riku and Namine! That's what's in my heart!
Thunder! Win! Win! Yeah! You have such strength, even at the mercy of your memory. None of that matters. Just put Riku back. <laughs> Just put him back? The Riku you speak of has but one fate to sink into the darkness. And you will share that fate, Sora. If you continue to seek the girl Namine, the shackles will tighten. You'll lose your heart and end up becoming Marluxia's pawn! Marluxia? What does Namine have to do with... Uh. <gasps> Axel! Yo, Sora. Did I catch you at a bad time? <laughs> Axel, why? I came to stop you from talking too much. By eliminating your existence. No! Don't do it! We are just nobodies who have no one to be, yet we still are. But now you can be nothing instead of just being a nobody. You're off the hook. No! Please don't! I don't want to- Goodbye. What are you? What are you people? <laughs> Don't know. I wonder about that myself.